So guys, you have until June 4th to gain that almighty golden Pelia, level 350. That is an absolute grind. But today I've got a video to help you guys gain XP as fast as you possibly can, okay? Before you get into the tips and tricks, please like and subscribe down below. I'm enjoying YouTube, as I say. It's really good fun to make videos. Uh, if you want to use my creator code, uh, I don't have one. So let's get straight into the video. Now my first tip for you guys would be the bot lobby method. All you have to do is get a new Epic account. Then log in on your PS4, PC, phone, anything you want. You've got to join that lobby of that person. Make sure they're party leader and simply go into a duos game. Now, the thing is, which is a bit difficult now, um, you cannot go into squads anymore because skill-based matchmaking is removed. If you go into duos, I think skill-based matchmaking is still available. However, sometimes in a duos game, skill-based matchmaking is not implemented. So I can come up and get some sweats. Now, to solve this issue, all you want to do instead of going into a, a full bot lobby game, you want to go into a Team Rumble game. This is a fantastic method. Team Rumble is a great game mode. Uh, it's fantastic because you've got redeploy, so you can quickly move around the whole map. But yeah, either one of these game modes is fantastic, guys. So it's a normal duos game with a, with a bot, so you can go into a bot lobby. This means you can complete challenges of henchmen as well. So you've got the yacht challenges, you've got the grotto challenges, you've got the new shark challenges, the new rig challenges. So either game mode's fantastic. With Team Rumble, there's a lot of challenges about harvesting materials, and that is fantastic for this game mode because you harvest tip materials twice as quickly as well as scavenging in this game mode uh, chest spawns are a lot faster there's a lot more chests and ammo boxes around the map in team rumble now in this last update epic have added loads of new challenges for location domination this is fantastic for you guys because the first set of challenges gives you a million XP and I imagine these next set of challenges give you near a million XP as well and that is going to level you up so quickly. Now these new challenges are quite easy to be honest, they're eliminating henchmen, they're destroying bears. Now a cheat guys for when you've got to harvest wood in Weeping Woods, a secret that no one really knows about is you just got to go into Team Rumble, mine your materials so you get extra materials, then you drop your materials, and if you pick them back up, the game actually registers that you've picked up and mined more materials. So you could mine 999 materials and then pick that up, and then that'll be a 999 again. So it goes from 500, I think, to 1,500, to then, I think, 10,000 or 500. It goes a little bit crazy. But guys, it's very simple. Or you, or you can jump into a Team Rumble game, land at Weeping Woods, drop your 150 materials that you land with and keep picking that up, keep dropping it and that will register that you're harvesting wood in Weeping Woods. Now a very good idea guys would be to chain your challenges okay. So this means that with the amount of location domination challenges that you probably haven't done yet because they are so big you'll be able to chain these challenges. So for example you're going to land at Dirty Docks in a Team Rumble game. For that challenge where you have to get top 10 landing at Dirty Docks to then go to retail row and you can then search chests if it's already been looted then make your way to, over to lazy lake and go get the ammo boxes if that's already done go to the agency uh, then you can deal damage to players if you're in a normal game you can land at dirty docks and go to the yacht to kill henchmen or you go to the grotto to scan henchmen and simply guys wherever the zone is on team rumble there will most likely be a challenge that you haven't done or a challenge local that you haven't done and that is a fantastic way to complete this really quickly. Uh, another idea, guys, would be daily challenges. These are so important. These give you 31,000 XP every time you do a daily challenge. You can stack three of them by getting one each day. So make sure you've done a challenge each day. So say in a week, that'll give you 210, 100,000 XP in one week by doing every single challenge in that week. So yeah, daily challenges are also a must. Challenges are key to XP, guys. They are very key. If you haven't done any challenges for your Midas or your agents, uh, obviously do them guys they're very easy if you want any help with that just google or youtube that will give you loads of tutorials on that now more challenges you can do are secret challenges across the map if you don't know weeping woods if you're doing your harvesting wood challenge there are loads of challenges in weeping woods there's two challenges where you can get 40,000 XP, so that's amounting to 80,000 XP in total. If you don't know about the beef between the gnomes and the teddies, I don't know where you've been in Fortnite Battle Royale. That is the main storyline in this map. No, I'm joking. Obviously, there's a massive storyline. But yeah, these guys are at war right now, so if you want to head over to Deadpool's cabin, there is secret challenges in the bottom that you will activate by touching a honey map, or there's challenges where you've got to change the telescopes of the gnomes. There is also a secret challenge right now which gives you 15,000 XP which is very good by landing here and you've just simply got to disarm the teddies and the gnomes from fighting and that will give you simply 15,000 XP which is no harm, everyone loves free XP. So yeah, secret challenges, daily challenges, overtime challenges, normal challenges, challenges will give you XP guys. If you haven't done your challenges, I don't know why you're doing the grind for 
golden peely because that is going to be a very long grind. Now another tip for you guys I have for you is the simply the XP coins. There's tons of XP coins around this map. So there's blue XP coins which spawn at the start of the game. They land for about 3 or 4 minutes so you want to get those XP coins quick. They give you about 900 XP. Uh, as you guys know there is tons and tons of green coins across the map. So they will give you about 400 XP which is very good. So you definitely want to be copying them. There's purple XP coins which will split into loads of different XP coins. To get away from missing any of these XP coins, you simply got to build around the XP coin so when you activate it, it's all going to stay in one little box so you won't miss any of the XP coins. And then the last one is the legendary XP coin. This is very rare, it only spawns, I think there's only been five of them for each different character this map and they're all in the vaults of their respected locations. So they give you 2,000 or 1,500 XP, quite a lot of XP guys, so if you haven't got them, go get them. And another tip for you guys is the metal punch guard. These metal punch guards are vital for your games. When you're doing your daily XP challenges, these metal punch guards will refresh every single day. And they can give you a total of 60,000 XP per day simply by scavenging, eliminating and getting positioning in games. This is done quickest in Team Rumble because there's so many chests uh, and it's so easy to get kills. So obviously in Team Rumble you're going to get XP through kills, you're going to get XP through assists, through scavenging, through ammo boxes and yeah that is a fantastic game for XP. So a key thing to remember guys is the supercharged XP. This is the bottom yellow line at the bottom of your screen sometimes you get. Supercharged XP is not what you think it is. You can only get it if you miss a metal punch card for the day before. So say if, you're, say if you miss the metal punch card, the next day you will get Supercharged XP and it will give you more XP for that whole day because Fortnite's allowing you to catch up on what you've missed. But don't be fooled guys, it doesn't give you twice the amount of XP. It gives you say 40% less XP than you would have normally earned by getting the metal punch cards normally. So make sure you're doing your metal punch cards because supercharged XP is not what you think it is. It only helps you catch up if you missed a certain day. So yeah, that was a lot of information to take in guys. Um, if you want to replay the video to go back and slow it down, yeah, I did speak very fast because I want to keep you guys engaged. But yeah, realistically, Gold Peely is a real, real grind. Level 350 is a real grind. I'm currently like level 190, but I've got loads of challenges to do still because they're quite time consuming to say the least, but they are definitely worth it to do. Guys, if you need any help, write down in the comments. I'll reply to your comments and I'll see what help you need and I'll try and give you the best help I can. If you want me to explain anything in the video, I can explain it for you in the comment section below. Personally, I don't think I'm going to get Gold Peely because it's just such a grind. Level 350 is just so far away for me now. But I do have a few weeks to complete it still and they're going to give out some more challenges again. Personally for me, I think Ghost Peely is good enough. I mean, him in that white suit just looks real fly, so... Yeah, guys, tell me if you're Ghost or Shadow in the comments below. Please like and subscribe, guys. YouTube is lit right now. I'm on my way to 200 subs, so please subscribe if you can. Thank you very much for watching, and have a good day, guys.